Total aerobic plate count or total viable count is very common and important test parameter which represents the microbiological quality of any sample. Dear viewers, in this video we are going to present an appropriate test method for total aerobic plate count. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. This test involves seven steps. Diluent and media preparation, sample preparation, serial dilution of the sample solution, pore plate, colony counting, result interpretation, and calculation. To conduct this test, we need a balance machine, autoclave, biological safety cabinet, incubator, water bath, stomacher, micropipette with drips, sterile petri dish and stomacher bag, pH meter, plate count agar potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate anhydrous and sodium hydroxide. Let's go for the analysis. At first, we will prepare diluent and culture media. We will use Butterfield's phosphate buffer as diluent for this test. To prepare Butterfield's phosphate buffer, take weight of 34 grams potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate anhydrous. Dissolve the potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate anhydrous in 500 ml distilled water. Adjust the pH of the solution at 7.2 using 1 normal sodium hydroxide. Now distribute 9 ml into each falcon tube. Autoclave the diluent at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Now we will prepare plate count agar. Take weight of 7 grams plate count agar dehydrated medium. Take 300 ml distilled water into a Duran bottle. Transfer the plate count agar medium and swirl to mix the content. Now boil the content in water bath for 5 minutes. Take the boiled media out of the water bath and place into the autoclave. 
autoclaves the media at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. After autoclaving, cool the media at 48 degrees Celsius using water bath. Now we will prepare our sample. Use a sterilized spoon to transfer the sample. Spray the spoon with 70% isopropyl alcohol if there is any chance of contamination. Take 25 grams of homogeneous portion of sample into a sterile stomaker bag. Measure 225 ml of prepared Butterfields Phosphate Buffer and transfer the buffer solution into the stomacher bag containing the sample. Mix and homogenize the content using Stromaker machine. Now we will dilute the sample solution by serial dilution technique. At first, we diluted our sample 10 times by mixing 25 grams raw sample with 225 ml diluent. That's why we are labeling the first sample solution with 10 inverse 1. Now transfer 1 ml of the first sample solution into 9 ml sterile diluent to make 100 times dilution of the sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 2. Vortex the second dilution. Transfer 1 ml of the second dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 1000 times dilution of the sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 3. Vortex this third dilution. Transfer 1 ml of the third dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 10,000 times dilution of this sample.
This delusion is called 10 in verse 4. Vortex this fourth delusion. Transfer 1 ml of the fourth dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 1 lakh times dilution of the sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 5. Vortex this fifth dilution. Again transfer 1 ml of the 5th dilution into another 9 ml sterile diluent to make 10 lakh times dilution of the sample. This dilution is called 10 inverse 6. Vortex the 6th dilution. Dilute your sample more if you expect greater number of bacteria in your sample. Now we will isolate bacteria from each dilution by pore plate method. Bring sterile petri plates. We will use two petri plates for each dilution. One plate is for trial 1 and another one is for trial 2. Label each plate. This two plates is for the dilution 10 in verse 1. Mix the first dilution by shaking. Transfer 1 ml from the first dilution or 10 inverse 1 dilution into trial 1 plate. Transfer another ml from 10 inverse 1 dilution into trial 2 plate. These two plates are for the dilution 10 in verse 2. Vortex the dilution tube. Transfer 1 ml from 10 in verse 2 dilution into trial 1 plate. Transfer another ml from 10 in verse 2 dilution into trial 2 plate. In this way, prepare all the dilution plates.
Now bring the plate count agar media cooled at 48 degrees Celsius inside the biological safety cabinet. Pour 20 ml media into each of the pitchy plates and mix the media with the diluted sample solutions. For details about the pour plate technique, take a look at our video. Video link for pour plate technique is given in the description section. Label another plate as media control. Pour 20 ml plate count agar media into the media control plate which is done for contamination take of that prepared media. Label another plate as diluent control. Transfer 1 ml diluent into the plate. Now pour 20 ml plate count agar media into the diluent control plate which is done for contamination take of the prepared diluent which is already used to dilute our sample. Cool the inoculated agar media to be solidified. After solidifying, collect the plates keeping upside down and place inside the incubator. Incubate the plates at 35 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. After 48 hours, take out the plates from the incubator for colony counting. Take a close look at 10 inverse 1 dilution plates. Both of trial 1 and trial 2 plates developed uncountable number of bacterial colonies. These are trial 1 and trial 2 plates of 10 inverse 2 dilution which also contain uncountable number of bacterial colonies. Ten inverse 3 dilution plates also contain uncountable number of bacterial colonies.
Similarly, 10 inverse 4 dilution plates also contained very large number of bacterial colonies. You can see countable number of bacterial colonies in 10 inverse 5 dilution plates. Let's count the colonies of 10 inverse 5 dilution. We found 762 colony forming unit in trial 1 plate. And here we counted 734 colony forming unit in trial 2 plate. We can see the lowest number of bacterial colonies in the last dilution plates. Let's count the colonies of 10 inverse 6 dilution. We found 85 colony forming unit in trial 1 plate and we counted 78 colony forming unit in trial 2 plate. These are the media and diluent control plates. There is no colony formed in media and diluent control plates. Hence, we can say that there was no contamination occurred in culture media and in diluent. Now we have to decide which plate counts should be considered. Plates with 25 to 250 CFU should be considered for the calculation. We have found uncountable number of bacteria in 10 inverse 1, 10 inverse 2, 10 inverse 3, and 10 inverse 4 dilution plates. We have found 762 colonies in trial 1 and 734 colonies in trial 2 plate of 10 inverse 5 dilution, which are not acceptable count because the counts are much greater than 250 per plate. While counting 10 inverse 6 dilution plates, we found 85 colonies in trial 1 and 78 colonies in trial 2 plate, which are acceptable count, because the counts fall between 25 to 250 CFU per plate. Let's learn how to calculate bacterial colonies for the original sample. We will follow the formula 1 when the colony count of all plates from two successive dilutions falls between 25 to 250 CFU. Sum of colony in first counted dilution is 1496 and we got this count in 10 inverse 5 dilution. Sum of colony in second counted dilution is 163 and we got this count in 10 inverse 6 dilution. Number of plates of first dilution is 2 because we counted trial 1 and trial 2 of 10 inverse 5 dilution. Number of plates of second dilution is also 2. Our first count was from 10 inverse 5 dilution, that's why D is 10 inverse 5. Now we are ready for the calculation. Put the values in the equation 1.
By solving the equation, we got the total plate count or total viable count is 7.54 into 10 to the power 7 CFU per gram. But this result is not acceptable because the first counter dilution colony does not fall between 25 to 250 CFU. We got 762 and 734 CFU in trial 1 and trial 2 which are much greater than 250. So in this case we have to follow second calculation. This calculation is applicable when the colony count from only one dilution falls between 25 to 250 CFU. Here, we won't use first dilution counts. We will only use the second dilution counts and this count we got from 10 inverse 6 dilution. Let's put the values in the equation too. By solving the equation, we got total plate count is 8.15 into 10 to the power 7 CFU per gram. This is the most accurate calculation for our test. I hope you all have no confusions about the calculation and the acceptability of the counts. There are some uncommon cases. If all the dilution plates have more than 250 CFU, then report as too numerous to count. If you found all the dilution plates with no CFU, then report as less than 10 CFU. If the count is closest to 25 to 250 CFU, then report the original count keeping a remark that the count is in outside of the 25 to 250 per plate range. All the best!